next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike, if you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. How about some Bruce Ladies Buffett? and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Assassin! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is make it a fight takes place. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Kevin. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Oh, damaging knee to the head. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big kick land. Misses with the right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh. 
Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And both guys really throwing with authority. That shot blocked by Lee. Let him go. Time to let just out of range with that right hook. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Again, they clinch. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Hits the elbow there. Nice one-two there. connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, collar tie. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. And he caught the kick. in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Second round here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch by Lee. Big head kick lands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Well, he is 
landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullet. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Oh, that right hand is on point. Back and forth we go here. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just misses with that one. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh! Just over three minutes to go. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Lee's punch to the body. That one is blocked. down there. How good is his takedown defense? Yeah, left hook found its target. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Horn sounds on round two. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. Yeah, take it deep, 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He week. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Lee going for the leg kicks. Nothing doing there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Just messing on the high kick there. Right on the button. Digging kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bar. There's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're gonna try to take it down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. It got defended as you would expect it to. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Switch knee lands to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. Hand is true, that will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Nice one, two there. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice punch lands over the top. Right hook to the hand block. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch from the clinch. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, huge hook. Final seconds of round three. 
his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing oh, everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. strike to the body, he just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Nice head kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Look at, oh, he's hurt. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Nice straight punch. Leg kick. He blocks the punch. How about that shin? Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he's got it going now, nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for, try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And do it with ill intent. Punches broke. Just over two minutes to go. That's a big strike right there. Real sneaky body. A straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Luke. Big punch lands through the middle. Just a slip there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Beautiful body kick. Blocks the shot. Liver kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. I need more out of you. 
Nice body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Just out of range with the big right hand. Good punch. Oh, okay, there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't burn that overnight. Let's go, Unable to land with that punch. Lee gets plastered by that uppercut. Takedown defense holds up. as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Great punch. And he landed the right hand. See if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Big punch from the clinch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar dive. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much more. Nice leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Got the single collar tie. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Sneaky head kick. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Lee. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Good jab. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Big kick lands. Oh, 
Certainly a strong front runner for fight of the night as we go down to the wire here between these two combatants. They're both so skilled. They're both so prepared. We knew right away this was going to be a very evenly matched competition. Oh, big right hand. Knee to the body. Oh! Five seconds remain in the round. All right, single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Nice leg kick lands. Good right hand from the top. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is